Okay. Georgie, opening time. You guys remember when we cried as kids and our parents said, I'll give you something to cry about? Yes. Remember that was kind of a thing? Absolutely. So we all thought that they were going to hit us or something, but instead they destroyed the housing market, quadrupled college tuition, and melted the ice caps. More more sad than a joke. You guys didn't get hit? But it's funny. No, I got hit too. Oh, okay. Definitely yeah, got I hit too. Yep. I got beat. Well, yeah. not hit. <laughs> yeah. Beat. I got hit. I was corrected. Either way. Corrected. Thanks, uh, thanks, parents. Uh. I'd like to thank uh, our friend Josh Fellman, who's joining us in the studio. And uh, while the music's going, I'm going to crack open this Southside Fizz, a lemon lime juniper mint THC tonic, which mm. is available where? Flipside. Ready? Listen how refreshing this is. A little ASMR action up in here. Yes, courtesy of Flipside MN. And once again, we have Josh Fellman back. So pumped about that. Did someone? What? You all right? You spill? No, it, I... it's not this. This smells phenomenal. I swear I smelled a fart. <laughs> that was the most menace. A fart. I smelled a fart. I a fart. fart for a <laughs> smell a fart. This, did you not see this guy doing lunges over there? Just like that was like half hour ago, and I have not farted since. Hey. You're over there trying on. Why demands. are you trying to blame someone else? Uh, dude, it wasn't me. I'd own it. He would. He would. It could have been the dog. It absolutely could have been the dog. It's definitely. I got her right here. Yeah, actually, that <laughs> no, it did no, kind of so smell doggy. It smelled eggy. It could have been her. It could have been her. She's 15 feet away from you, so you can be potent. Josh, okay. thanks for making it back. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me back. How have you been? I have been good. What about the shop? What's going on with the shop? Flipside MN. Shop is good. Yeah, we're. Um, we're cruising right along. Summer is pretty much done, so headed into fall, and things have been great. We enjoyed our first summer being open and having the door open and having a bunch of people stop in and grab drinks while they were headed to the lake. Like nothing better than like a little THC drink while you're watching sailboats cruise by. So it's included on the way to the studio. It's wonderful, yeah. right? Want to kick so, back, relax, and so now true. just headed into winter, right. buckling down. I suppose maybe people start to stock up around this time. That's the that is the hope that you come in and spend your entire life savings on Christmas gifts. You are not leave your couch freeze? come wintertime. Do t- I mean yes, they they're unlike like what, what a yeah beautiful ice thing if you could leave them outside all winter long. Mm-hmm. Minnesotans just yeah, I mean based on how last winter yard. went and how warm it's been now, you might still be able to leave. That them might out. be like, perfect. It for might, each yeah, yeah, it's not getting that cold. Knock on wood so far. Here you go. Wait, you're not a fan of cold and snow. I mean, if I could choose, I would pick San Diego's weather up and put it right here. What? Yeah. But I, I feel like that creates a different Minnesotan. That's a different person. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to complain. And that's like my favorite <laughs> thing to do. I think Thanks. people, much like certain parts of this world, need all four seasons. I lived in California. I can't do it. I turn into a piece of shit. You, like, can, le- you can leave California to another season. As soon as it gets cloudy season. one day, I'm like, ah. Do, oh. do you really think Minnesota gets all four seasons? Sometimes. I've I've seen all four in my life. We get we get eight seasons. Yeah, yeah. We get summer, fall, spring, slush, winter, but we also season. get fake summer. Yep. Winter, second, second winter, grosser yeah, winter. We get eight yep. seasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gro- we get gross spring before spring. Yeah. Fall is like spring. Fall is like we five days about. though, and it's just not so this upsetting. year, not last year. Yeah. yeah. Fall last year was a great two fall. months right now. This is fantastic. thank you yeah. global warming. Yes. yes. It's been yeah. we'll take it. extended fall every year. We'll absolutely take it. Gore, why didn't you do this when you were in office? Turn on those wind turbines. Yeah, he's too worried about man bear pig. Um, <laughs> before we, uh, before I got a couple questions for you, Josh. Mm-hmm. Our record wall behind us. You brought a couple choices of your own. Why don't you walk us through these? And I tell you right now, I, I love them. Uh, six records up there. We can just start top left, go to the right, and then we'll go bottom left and go to the right. I mean, full, uh, full stop after top left. <laughs> Creed yeah. greatest hits. Uh, uh, I don't know how many people in the world have that record. I do. I have seen them in concert multiple times. <laughs> but I do. I uh, just saw them like a couple of months ago on their return, or their, uh, they're back together now. How was that concert? Excellent. Did you, did you see them at Treasure Island? It was, yeah, we did yeah. see them. It was, uh, it was wonderful. Oh, I mean, great. I saw them when I was like 10 years old, and uh-huh. now again when I'm 34, and they still hold up, man. Brother-in-law saw them at Treasure Island, too, so it was great. They're so good. Yeah. Tre- Kirk, Kirk Cousins was there. Was he really? Oh, he should have to be. Probably, right? right? Shirt off yeah. with the, cha- the Kirko chain on. <laughs> yeah, he's just, yeah. back, yeah. just backstage with a gold chalice. Oh, yeah. We had a group Drinking of Drinking with Creed. We had a group of guys next to us that all busted the shirts off during hire and, like, did, you know, sm- it was just. <laughs> 
It was the everything you wanted out of a creature. Yeah. It was ship. like a little kitschy, but also like you're like, oh, this song is amazing. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so yeah, and then uh, the middle album's Odessa is probably Tess and I's like favorite artist in the last five or six years. One of the great live shows you will ever see in your life. I've heard that. Um, and I'm still not familiar. Oh my god, they're so good. Uh, you can look them up on YouTube. It's it's wonderful. Uh, and then top right is Frank Ocean, probably Woo! the ps- in <laughs> our generation, like the single greatest artist in the last fifteen years. Yes, um, thank you. Thank he could you. probably not, retire. Not, Wait, not only R and B, not yeah. only R and B. He's he's just perfect music. Uh, incredible. Uh, he has two actual albums. A couple like uh, he's got an EP and then Endless, which is like its own version. He probably will never drop new music again, and it doesn't really matter. There's a question: Nostalgia Ultra or Endless? I'm a Nostalgia Ultra guy, yeah. just mainly because that was like the first one I heard. And Endless is like not always the easiest to listen to because it's oh, true. not on Spotify. You got to be ready like, for you it. Got, yeah. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's he's our he's probably going to be our great white whale. Tess and I went to Coachella two years ago to see him specifically, <sighs> and he canceled in between right. weekends because he got in a quote unquote bike accident, uh-huh. which is not true. But what did happen? Uh, he had a terrible weekend one and bailed on weekend two because he's a an, he's a weirdo. He just he's yeah, a, he's he, a recluse and he doesn't want to perform, mm-hmm. so he just kind of bailed. Speaking yeah. of stories of what actually happened that not a lot of people don't, do you guys know what happened to Clyde Edwards Hilaire? Why he's not playing football? Mental health. But what? Why he's taking a mental health break? Oh, I guess I don't know. Him and a friend. Suppo- this is what I heard from. I can't. Remember, I can't quote the source. Him and a friend were going to like a Facebook marketplace meeting to buy something that was pretty expensive. Guy at the house tried to rob them. Friend so allegedly at this point carries legally dispensed this person who was trying to rob them with a weapon legally they're not facing any charges it was already claimed to self-defense but he cannot get that out i and think that's Cl- fair clyde saw it <laughs> I mean, yeah. yes he saw yeah. it happen and and i yeah it's something that i think a lot of people need to realize like that would be some stuff to see so yeah Ugh. take your time young man take your time can't wait to watch it play again but wow I, they yeah. think they do think he's coming back eventually like they said so apparently yeah he was rumored as early like, as last week i think yeah. But, I mean, with that, you probably just don't know until you know, I suppose. Well, it's one of those right. things where he's just out, right? And it's like, yeah. oh, he's out. But it's like, there's, there's a bigger story here. And then once he's yeah. ready, he'll just come back. Yes. Crazy. That's, yeah. Mm. Um, bottom yeah. left, uh, Fontaine's DC won. Uh, just, it, that album is probably my one of my three favorite albums of the year. They just are your classic Irish rock band. Um just awesome we they were here last week we missed the show unfortunately which we very rarely miss shows like that but um i've been seeing this album cover everywhere it's amazing cal actually got me that right cal was at the show got me that record so it was very nice surprise of him Mm -hmm. to show up at the store with it Um, some of the best gifts i've ever received from my brother have been music yeah and surprises i had no idea yeah uh so that it's just one of my favorite records of the year Awesome. Um, that middle album's a Rage Against the Machine album. Everybody Speaks knows them. Oh, yeah. Let's go. In my opinion, the greatest rock band of all time. Tess and I saw them. Tom Morello, probably the um, greatest guitarist. Is incre- one of them. Unreal. Yes. Um, we saw them a couple years ago at Alpine Valley when they were doing their reunion tour, oh. and then they bailed on it, you know, after Zach tore his, eight, or his Achilles and that yeah. whole thing. So we, we are, they may never come uh, similar to Frank Ocean. You just Damn. may never catch them again. It's yeah. just one of those things. And then bottom right, Zeppelin is. I grew up on six, late sixties. Also 70s enough, sir. Rock and, Are they the yeah. greatest rock band ever? In my opinion. In my opinion. Um, Mine too. I would say. I, 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 it has to be decade specific because I think Rage Against the Machine is the greatest rock band ever. But if you're talking just straight sixties or seventies, sure. yeah. then Zeppelin is my favorite. Music probably. is made for the times. That's true. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. It, Beastie Boys, if you consider them rock, is probably That's the true. best late eighties, early nineties. I yeah. mean, it's just it, it has to be decade specific. But I mean, if, if you do a bracket style with sixty up against yeah. ninety, and you had to make it like if you had to eliminate one of those it three be, music it becomes library, so and subjective keep the other. at that point. It's probably so it's, many dang yeah, choices. It's probably Zeppelin, just because I mean, a lot of these bands, their core sound is taken from yeah. zeppelin and what uh-huh. those guys did yeah. for a long time so i mean fleetwood mac is probably one of my favorite artists ever and like very similar thing that and that's a band that mm-hmm. changed their sound like halfway through their i mean they were a band and did three albums before stevie nicks came on board yeah. so they like completely changed their sound from like a more blues mm-hmm. based band into like what everybody knows fleetwood mac is did now. they have a so, different name too no they were always fleetwood mac but they just i mean i guess 
I don't know that 100%, but I've never heard them go by a dif- different name. Their, sto- uh, their story is crazy. Sodi might um, be onto something. It's... It, we saw them also a few years ago, right before COVID, and they're in their seventies, and they played like almost three hours. Like the yeah, second office yeah, would they, love to they, join you guys. To they some crank of these it shows. up. <laughs> they crank it up. No, that's true. They still put on these shows. Um, they well, they just lost. Yeah, one they, of them. Yep. So they, I mean, they're down to. Uh, you know, Lindsay Buckingham's not Christine really part McPhee of that. Died, that's Christine right. McPhee died. Christine McPhee died, and she's probably she kept that that group together for a really long time. Yeah. And we luckily got to see them when she was alive. That's awesome. Lindsay was not part of the band at that time because him and Stevie have their yeah um, long history. Man, okay, so talking about Fleetwood Mac, are you aware of the? This is not much of a story, but the the making of rumors. Yeah, they, they all were they all were dating each other. They're all dating each other during rumors. They all wrote two songs on that album, and at least one of those two songs is about another one of the band members. The only uh, song they all wrote together was "The Chain," which makes sense. And how the story goes of how they recorded was they all had a beach house in Malibu somewhere. They spent all day long um, doing it, drinking pretty much, doing coke. <laughs> And eating pizza and wouldn't start recording till like two, three a.m. Apparently, that's Airbnb. Well, business. The, there's it's the great. story that um, they sounds like Verbo. At, they had a, a a guy that ran and got their cocaine for them. Yeah, and there's a story that they kind of had a ledger because they would give him money, and there was this really long th- this rumor that they if you were able to lay out all the cocaine they bought from like 1968 to 1970 it would have been a mile long based on how much money they spent and then Mick 12 Fleetwood inches wide did an interview like a few years ago and he's like yeah we actually ran those numbers once we like had our accountant <laughs> like, we see know. how much we spent and then how much you got for how much that money and then like you know added it up and they're like yeah it was about a mile's mile worth of you know how that came up they probably had That's him do great. his taxes and they're like well are we done with our taxes he's like well you got me for another six hours here how much coke do we do look <laughs> yeah. at this book yeah, great, just do this crazy crazy yeah, listen to our budget this is how much cost this much at that time this is how much we spent how you, much did we do you just don't i mean if i don't know if you guys watch the grateful dead documentary a uh, long strange trip on amazon prime but it also you, you hear these stories and they're all secondhand or whatever. And then you watch these documentaries and then you hear them firsthand about like what the dead were doing in the seventies and eighties. And it's like, it's crazy that Jerry Garcia didn't die 20 years earlier. Like, yeah. I mean, how are their bodies just, well, how's Mick Jagger still kicking? I know that guy is probably, just, he's probably embalmed at this point. Yeah. It's a living embalmment. <laughs> Preservatives that we're not privy to as just normal people. It has he's, to be. He has crazy doctors. It makes no there. sense. That's like if you spend your car's entire life using your piss as gas. I mean, and he's doing fine. We talked about urine therapy. Yep. Same with okay, Keith Richards. Sure. I mean, <laughs> have you heard of this? Science will study Keith Richards when he's dead because they're is. like uh, the amount of drugs that that man put in his body. Exactly. I feel like, I feel like they're doing a, a yeah aging process. You know, there's got to be something. Um, similar Test. story know. of of the cocaine with with less conviction and in, in number similarity. Um, this is so. Do you, you and I were living in uh, Los Angeles. My dad was out there visiting. And um, we forgot how it came to be, but he but he looked at us and said, I- "I've spilt more weed than you'll ever smoke." <laughs> he he then looked at you and said, "Maybe not you, Sodi." Yeah. But if there was a way to quantify that, that'd be fun to somehow get all your carpet remnants. That was a good time. Vacuum it up specifically and (laughs) right to find. Oh, I'd be so pissed if you did grind or somewhere. (laughs) Yep. Guarantee you, there's been been a night where you've ground up a few and didn't screw the bottom on all the way and just turned and bow. Yep. Yep, exactly. Well, how about it's all the, the time carpet that, with the cat hair? You're not smoking that. <laughs> you right? take a you take a joint on a walk. You finish half of it, and then you're like, eh, and then you just like toss it. Mm-hmm. I mean, all those add up. Yeah, oh yeah. They sure do. Hmm. Um, also, if you do drop your weed on the carpet, I um, little hack: put a t-shirt over a vacuum. Hmm. And sticks to the t-shirt. Sticks to the t-shirt. Look at you. you and if you it. do spill <laughs> your grinder yeah. on the carpet. Dogs can actually eat raw weed and get high, so make sure you do vacuum it up. Because oh, yeah. unlike humans who can just eat raw flour and not, it doesn't process in our system like that. Your dog can get high, mm. so vacuum it up. Wait, good to know. Yeah. What's wrong yeah. with Jane? Is she all right? She's out. We know that because our Frenchie got high once on accident. <laughs> oh, so, geez. how do you handle it? He was fine. He was just He's blazed, a champ. dude. He's great. Yeah. Okay. Vet said he was cool, man. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, to get him a beanbag chair for the day. I should. <laughs> He was just vibing, <laughs> sleeping on the bed. He was just, just out. Put the headphones on, put some Zeppelin. It was hard to tell because he's just vibing all the time anyway. Yeah. So he's just extra vibing. That's just awesome. a little slower that day. 
Well, Feldman, those are uh, those are some sweet albums. Thank you. Um, into the biz. Um, I saw this. Well, story, I suppose. Um, I don't know how pertinent it is, but I just want to know how how much closer are we to like widespread consumption and say and sales of weed because oh, it's been man. legal for so Can damn long. Now. Yeah. This this podcast isn't long enough. I was gonna t- so um, this is from Fox Nine, but hopeful marijuana retailers worried Minnesota won't license until twenty twenty six. Yeah, I don't I don't Good think Lord. it'll take quite that long. But you know, Tess and I were um, are dealing with some some zoning stuff with the city, so we were at a planning commission meeting a couple weeks ago, and the city staffer who wrote the amendment, she was there as well. And the city council asked her a couple of questions about like what where the state was at. She didn't have really glowing things to say. It's been a slow process. They were supposed to be done with social equity licenses and early cultivation licenses like now because we like retailers can't operate without supply. Well, you need to get farmers up and running first. So they thought that they'd have licenses for that um, starting soon. It doesn't sound like that now will come till the beginning of the year, meaning general licenses will be behind that. Uh, And then you have like a four to six month run up once licenses go out. So I've been tell I was telling people June first because that's really what I had thought for like the, this whole entire summer, and then I Ooh. I heard Sarah talking at the planning commission meeting, and now I think probably fall twenty twenty five is what we're looking at. So I don't think I mean twenty twenty six is could be could be a real number because could come I, out like, just around Grand Theft Auto six. Kind of good I timing. Mean, I, I <laughs> it's just, all on purpose. I, I yeah. just don't give anybody these dates as like a black and white thing because oh, no. the state has just not. Um, they have just tripped over their feet pretty much every step of the way. Things have been slower than they needed to be. Well, some I mean, of them are running for VP. You it's know? crazy. I mean, it, it's... Is it, is it... Was this whole thing... Sure, this is hindsight at this point, but was this whole thing not as easy as looking at what Colorado did and copying it? It could have been. I mean, other states have done that. The average turnaround time across the country, because we're the 24th state to do that, the, the average turnaround time around the country, and I've probably said this before on here, um, has been 14 months. So from legalization to on sale, the average turnaround time is 14 months. Minnesota will be on pace for a minimum of 24 months, Jeez. probably closer to 26, 27, 28. Ah. So yes, other states have essentially said, look, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Let's just kind of take pieces from other states. Yeah. This state has decided to do things, let's call it their own way. I could say Denver, Denver's doing a really yeah, good job. that's Minnesota for you. That's, yeah, a, that's kind mean, of a summation of Minnesota. Denver's doing a great job. Some of the stuff has made sense. Some of it is, like, very logical. Like, let's get cultivator licenses out early because what we don't want to happen is what happened in Illinois where they sold out of weed in three days because yeah. they didn't have enough cultivators. So the, some of the decisions they have made have been, like, really, like, yeah, that makes a ton of sense to me. The problem is you got to get those licenses out. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. it, and it just has not happened. So I don't think 2026 is on the table yet. But we'll see where we're at come January or February. And if social equity applications aren't done yet and early cultivation isn't done yet, then, yeah, I, I think that we're looking at early 2026, which Son is crazy to Got to get the groundwork in right away. Hey, it could be worse. Vermont took five years. They did. Five years. Jeez. Yeah. Man, I didn't know but that. they're ancient. So it could be mm. worse, but it also should have been exponentially better. You know anyone younger than 50 that lives in Vermont? No. Probably know somebody older. And you know what? Their weed market's great because people <laughs> over 50 got all the money. Yeah. So they're doing fine. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Touchdown bills. Which one? Josh Allen? He threw Mac it. Mac Hollins. Let's go. He threw it. Um, so yeah, yeah that's, where that's, we're at. Uh, that's where we're at with that. I mean, luckily, okay. like you can grow it yourself. You can smoke it. You can come yeah. buy edibles and drinks at our store. Yep. So there at least is a halfway point, which a lot of states didn't have. Essentially, they legalized it, and then you just had to wait for two years. Yeah. So at least Minnesota has something. Like, you know, there's there's a halfway point here, but we're all waiting for flour. We're all waiting for, yeah. you know, concentrates. You're going to be the shop where you it, can get what you need. It'll come. And, yep. I mean, once it's here, we're all going to forget that it took this long. It just is it's aggravating sometimes to, like, oh, hear. Oh, I won't. I won't. I promise. Uh, I, I, I know for a fact you you and I both will. It'll be three hours, or, sorry, excuse me, three years from now, and, and we'll be rolling around the corner and be like, oh, hey, we're recording. we got to go grab some gummies well, it's like for the guests or something. Well, it's like the couple that are in the state. They're doing it. They're doing it. And it's like, right. Hello. They're very expensive. It's working. Yeah, very and their, expensive their supply right now, is super limited. And that's, that's, that's the problem. Where you can clearly see you yeah. need to get people growing. Yeah. Create a system. Get people going. Buy some acreage. Start it up. 
Talk about building small business. Hello. We, I mean, we talk, I mean, we have customers who go to Island Prezi, which is the one down in Red Wing, which is like an hour from the store, 15 yeah. minutes from the store. Walker. And there, I mean, the biggest complaint from them is essentially there's n- extremely limited options and they're very expensive yep. and they are co-mingling hemp and recreational cannabis. And a lot of people don't know the difference. They're not asking the right questions and then they get home and they get a Delta 8 vape yep. and yep. that's no good. So that's the the slight issue with these, you know, like Island Prezi and the, the other um, dispensary you go to up in, was that Red Lake? Swedish Grass, yeah. Um, um, Walker. It, there is Walker. one in Red Lake too. Um, it's just they, there's no government oversight for those locations because obviously they're on reservation so they don't have like, i will mm-hmm. say opening weekend actually i, I believe i went there because somebody told me on saturday that they were open i was there sunday morning and the menu had probably 48 different options by the time it came up to me to pick i had watched four of them go empty yeah mm. i mean people came in and said I'll, what's the most i can get right now because they, they everyone knew we we're gonna run out yeah. yeah and they did so i mean it is what it is like we're just all waiting patiently and like we're providing the state any information that they're wondering from us, and like however we can help facilitate, we're doing that. Like, Speaking of that, let's do they, do they reach a transport out? Company, hello. The state or, does not reach out to you directly. You they they do like essentially they open up a portal for you to like submit feedback. That's nice. Um, okay. So I mean, yeah. It's, so at least they're hearing things. Yeah, that's so I've been told. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how true it is, Fair but okay. based no, on nobody's reading. Okay. No, I, yeah. nobody. I'm like you, son of a. And they're like this guy, just right to the damn guy. right to the trash. Yeah, exactly. Right Spam. to the trash. Spam. No. Spam. We don't need to listen to the We don't listen to the. We don't need to listen to the business owners who are in this line of work. We'll just do things ourselves. That's how I imagine <laughs> it works at the OCM. But I don't know. Well, I appreciate that because I know I'm one of the people that's definitely very ignorant to what's going on and why it's taking so long. Me too. So, uh, so we're, understanding we're, it. Makes we're the me, asshole on the couch being like, "Where is it? I mean, you said it happened already." We want weed. The yeah. state has done a really bad. And this has Why been do like I have to drive yeah. three hours. This has been my number one complaint: is the state has done a horrific job with communication. Yeah, they're not letting anybody know, including us, where they're at. Nope. Like I find this sometimes I find this information through the news, like you guys do, and I literally sell weed for a living. Wow. So I will find some of this. Like Fox Nine will post something. I'm like, oh, that's news to me. Jeez Louise. Yeah, you get so, an address. You could mail like, something. It's it, that's one of our biggest frustrations is this whole process has been a very like their their lack of community. It's like they have like a state website that's like we legalized it. And that's like all the website says. It's like, cool. Kind of. Thanks. Where's it at? <laughs> like, all right. Good but stuff. Try to find it. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. We legalized it. Uh, but you need to keep buying it from your neighbor for a while. Yeah, exactly. That'll so be whatever, that'll just be Todd's for still you. your guy. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't change uh, anything you're doing. Oh, you want strain specific stuff? I hope Todd has it in his trunk. Yeah, uh, exactly. Because you can't go to the store and buy it yet. It's like, come on. No, man. and that's the thing is there's a lot of products out there that would really help a lot of people if they could have the tailored approach, like your shop and other shops here can give people if you give them the free run. And it's that's what we're talk about the pharmaceuticals people could stop. Crazy. I've seen that firsthand. Mm. Myself, the yeah. pharmaceuticals you can stop taking if you find the right product. For oh, you. I agree. I mean, so we're yeah. working on it. Slowly but surely. Jeez Louise, Minnesota. Doc, oh, yeah. how was your week? God, I missed you. Sorry about that. That was a little harder than I wanted. Don't hit him. So were you, though. What's up? Why are you hitting me? Yeah, don't hit him. I don't know. I have another question for Josh. You ever, remember cute discretion? When you really like something, you're like, man, it's good to see you. Cute discretion. You just want to fucking smack it, mm-hmm. bite it. Ah, I don't want to bite you. But... Yeah, you're pretty cute, Doc. What the hell is going on right now? I, I have no know. idea. Just sitting here. Sobriety. So um, enjoying the story. <laughs> it me, uh, something, this was, what, uh, a handful of months ago at this point, and you guys are, um, you're dealing with this stupid thing, and you're and you're looking for a little help. Uh, bring us through these uh, these. What is it, a yeah. zoning law? Yeah. So the state is the one handling all the licenses, and I'll try to make this quick. Um, the state is the one handling all the licenses, the cultivators, the retailers, and stuff like that. So we, you know, th- there's there's that aspect of it, and then they essentially said every city gets to choose how they zone these stores and farms and all of that stuff. Uh-huh. So that is up to each city council and each city to decide. So. City of Minneapolis and St. Paul, St. Paul released their zoning requirements a couple of months ago. And it was like, where can you operate a dispensary? Uh, what safety do you have to have? There's like a bunch of different things. And and St. Paul's was very straightforward. You have to be 300 feet from a school. You have to operate in a commercial zone. Very easy, standard stuff. You know, 300, so 300 like feet. That. Yeah, that's, 300 feet. That seems yeah. good. It seems good. Is and that a couple blocks? Yeah, it's like a one block? city block. See, I your weed guy feet. can't go that close. Yeah. <laughs> Lowell. 
so we were like, uh, I mean, these seem normal. Yeah. So we we're like, oh, we should be good to go. And then Minneapolis, two months later, drops their zoning requirements, and they included a caveat in theirs that St. Paul did not have, which was they want cannabis stores to operate like liquor stores, meaning you cannot operate a dispensary unless it's in a five contiguous acre commercial zone, which is a huge piece of land. Yeah. Um, and you don't, you so don't it would really limit there. the locations in, in the biggest city in the state. So Ugh. our store is located in 3.82 acres. So we oh would be God. short by an, an acre and, and uh, 1.2 acres. Sure. So we, you know, contested to the state like this or to the city, like this is unnecessary. Why are we following a 1950s liquor law? Which yeah. is on, it's just, this is a new industry. Booze. My biggest gripe is I don't think alcohol and cannabis should be tied together. They're both vices, but very different. Like the last time I yeah. checked, I don't think they use IPAs in cancer research. No, like that's not a no. thing. Right. You know what I mean? But they doctors use never prescribed and, alcohol. No. So I should say since probably right. 1890. Yeah. yeah. So I just don't think that they should be tied together. So that was our pitch. Like, you're going to take away these small neighborhood stores, and you're just going to have huge national companies move into these spots, and, like, we don't want that. And so there's a process that you have to go through to get that changed. And luckily, Tess and I got a ton of signatures, uh, both in the store and online. And when people knew, like, this is the communication thing, is the city didn't let people know that this is what what was happening. So when we started telling people, the feedback was incredible. Everybody was super supportive. See, I thought it was a school thing you guys were dealing with. That was the only caveat I heard with the whole state was they needed to be so far from schools. We chose our store location specifically because we were following other states' guidelines, like how far... Denver, you have to be from a school. Yep. How far? California. How like so? Common we sense we chose our location yeah. based on how other states and cities had set their requirements up. Minnesota's five acre rule is a very rare. Like not a lot of states have that. Sure. So and a lot a lot of cities have that. So it wasn't something we were expecting. Our store is a thousand feet from a school. Yeah. It's like in a high traffic neighborhood. Yep. It's, it's a we, great location. Great spot. Yeah, yeah love cool. it. So. It's been going well. We Tess and I went to the planning commission. We gave our speeches. They did adopt our amendment, but now it has to go to business zoning and housing, and then it goes to the city council for a final vote. So we have positive momentum. Love it. Um, we're just working on getting one-on-ones with city council members, but of course it is very helpful for anybody to email their council member directly and let them know that they want the rule that uh, the planning commission adopted to move through to the city council. It's very simple. We didn't ask for a lot. We just asked for them to lower the number from five to three, which we think is a very reasonable request. Absolutely. And pretty much everybody, not pretty much everybody has supported it. So sure. that's where we're at with it. Okay. Um, You're here. No, awesome. Yeah. Please, uh, where can where can they find this petition? Uh, FlipsideMN.com. There's a tab that you can uh, test. My wife, she did an incredible job. You can pick a custom template and sign it, and it sends it directly to us, and we will get it to your council member. We probably have a guy oh, that wow. could add that link into our YouTube channel. Sure. I so think I'll do that. Click it right in the you description. Know what? I think I'll do that. So I there you go. That's a very good call. Yep. And while so you're yeah. there, check out some of the sweet products. Yeah. Is we there, are finishing so our website. So is that, is that different from what I did when I went to sign and donate? Is that the same thing? Yeah. Oh, so that's the that's just like a we did two different things. We did just like the online straight up click petition. And if you did donate, that is wonderful. You are. And just to be clear, we were not asking for any money. That donation went to petition dot org. I, I knew a, about that. Yeah. George a, just a throws it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So I, I, I want to yeah. be clear that mm, yeah. we are not asking for any money uh, at all. But if you want to donate to petition dot org, that and, is great because they are and a nonprofit it did help to, to push your petition too. Oh sure, I didn't know how that. A, a certain yeah, it, sure. it gives Maybe you a, promote like, it or more clicks or, Got it. or something well, like that. Well, I appreciate that. that. Of course. Uh, so yeah, there's that, and then on our website, there's like custom made templates that look like letters that you essentially can choose the template, mm. sign it, and it sends it to me, and then I print that and we put it into the private public record when we go to like the the zoning commissions, essentially. So three so, yeah. extra would help you guys. Yeah, I mean, any sure. anything helps. Like the the business zoning and housing is a private. There's no public hearing for that, so that's why Tess and I are setting up one on ones with um, city council members directly because we don't get to go and and you know make our speeches, but yeah. we do still get to email them, and I will email them essentially the packet of like all the signatures we've gotten, which is like yeah. we've gotten over. I mean, the petition has like 400 and like the personal signed letters. We have what, like over 100 of those. So like Great. it's Great. Uh, the community supports it. We obviously are just trying to make cannabis more equitable for everyone. You shouldn't have to if you live in Minneapolis, which is a city that promotes walking and biking so heavily, you shouldn't have to have a car to, to go get weed. No, like you should be able to walk yes. to your local. Like that's the whole point of living in the city yep. yes. It's like yeah. so that you can get to stuff easily. 
Like, why are we making it more difficult than it needs to be? It's so stupid to me. Exactly, right. Um, so, yeah, that's that's it, man. That's the mm. speech. We appreciate all the support very, very much. Yes, please get on there, show your support. We all cannot wait to get to the end result of where we're going to be. Let's smoke some weed, man. Let's Come on, do that's it. all we're Let's asking get, for. Wait, right Jeez, now? Can, we, can we not just Come get, on. A little, can we not get a little stoned? My gosh. Wow. Let's make God it freaking hard. You forget right. to hit the button sometimes. We'll wait. Mm. Not that button. I'm on that button. I know you. Anyway, right. let's talk sports. Football? Sure. Should we go football? <laughs> Whatever all you right. guys want. Thanks for that, Josh. Yes. That was great. Thank you, guys. Um, all right, so football time. Aaron Rodgers is playing. Um, and just got sacked a bunch of times. That was like that was great to see. So um, you, he's having a hard time. You know he's going to do <laughs> terrible this year, and he's doing it on purpose, right? So he can join us. No. Oh. Yeah. Dude, Aaron Rodgers is brilliant. We've talked about this. And after enough ayahuasca, uh, he has openly yeah. rejected the woke culture and the forced vaccinations. You know who owns the Jets? Look it up. Who Mr. owns the Woody New York Johnson. Jets? Yeah, Woody. Yeah, yeah, I know. The direct heir to Johnson and Johnson, and Johnson the yeah, vaccine creator. Oh, I know that yeah. the NFL was getting. Yeah, so he's like, Screw I'm rubbing you guys. my face the same way Aaron is right now on the bench. <laughs> Look at him go. I was just rubbing my How face like is. that. He's a Hollywood actor. He's classically trained. <laughs> um, this was this was actually one of my points. Let's touch on it right away. Oh, God. Um, I knew you would. That would be a you thing. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers on the solifier. They are selling hot dogs at US Bank Stadium this season. I heard too. <laughs> yeah. We were worried about that last time Josh was in the studio. <laughs> Because <laughs> here, that's right. And that, whatever you brought up just wasn't. He goes a thing on Twitter great. and sees one Twitter feed, and he's like, "Oh no!" Half the show is fat. Not only are they not half sell- the show is fat. They're not that selling hot dogs at US Bank, and the Earth is flat. Yeah. Well, the Earth Tough. is flat. Yes. And we and we and we looked at both. Of those I wish like, the Earth was oh, flat. No. Cause there's a couple people I'd like to push off the edge of it. Um, so Sunday night <laughs> football. Nice. Did anyone see these? So Zyf- hold on. So Zyf- you, you can't yeah. you can't bring something up and then I have a point on it and oh, then you just do? go to the next one. Well, yep. you never elaborate my stories. This is new. Please, I never elaborate your stories. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you rarely elaborate. I never elaborate. Listen, what are I'm your gonna stories? Treat first this of all, disagreement much like I do with loved ones, kind of like a new user license software. Let's ignore it all. I accept what you say. Yes. Love you. <laughs> Do you guys have like a a, a power trip bets like Twitter user who follows your guys' podcast and then like does like the post. We have de- six. De- six the, of them. The post debate <laughs> thing where like they did for the presidential thing where it's like Donald Trump talked this much. Kamala talked this much. You guys we have that, that for this to see how that much so he talks. That's probably like AI show. at this point. Probably. Right? You could just like type it in and be like, how yeah. much did each person talk? I would it's love a, to see the numbers well, on it's, that. It's a fine line because if I don't talk enough. Then I don't feel like I'm a part of it. There's many times I talk way too much. This is all self fulfilling. Then it turns into a shit. I love this. Yeah, this is great. So, <laughs> thank you for bringing up Aaron Rodgers, Sody. Aaron Rodgers said, "Quote: If I play better, this doesn't happen." When talking about Robert Sala's firing, you guys agree or disagree? No, I think Sala makes a great D coordinator. He needs to sc- scratch that out and say, "If I didn't play coach and GM, Sala doesn't get fired." Because if he doesn't bring in Nathaniel Hackett and has like a normal smart offensive coordinator and they pay alan lazard 40 mil like, yeah i mean and he, like oh a lot of guys get paid money they don't deserve lebron lebron can play gm because he's like the single best basketball player of all time yeah aaron Rodgers is a wash 39 year old oh. like god yeah freaking i mean I don't know you don't do get to that. play gm <laughs> anymore like when, I don't. yeah he's he's trash so what do you what do you say to him unequivocally Favre, denying the fact that he had anything he to champ, do with really. this decision to fire there's no way that's right yeah he made the call Probably i mean i don't think that he had a lot to do with it i saw like a, a story that's this is like the classic owner firing where woody was in london and he was like an all ambassador vaccinated. for the uk and all his friends were at that game and then they get they get beat, so he just like makes a rash billionaire decision. Well, watch this. But I'm a fire. <laughs> I, I definitely think that <laughs> he like this guy right reached out to Aaron and was like, "Hey, I'm about to fire Robert Sala," and Aaron probably sent him like the thumbs up emoji. Yeah, probably yeah. liked it. Maybe <laughs> hearted it. Yep. You know, like no, I, not, it. I don't think that he was like the guy that pushed it, but I also don't think that if Woody reached out and was like, "I'm going to fire him," Aaron would have been like, "No, I want to keep him. He's a I, great guy. He's my too. coach." Yeah. I also don't think he's. Um, the, been the greatest. Like they've had a very good defense since he's been there. That's kind of been it. They're always crazy, heavily penalized. Um, they've lacked discipline or any kind of I prefer penalized. identity. Um, Salah's penalized, defense great. since he was hired as the coach is like the second best defense. Yeah, great. EPA. He's a great like, D coordinator. It's great. Everything yeah. else is kind of trash. I'm intrigued them, so to see like, where this team goes now yeah. that he's not coaching it. Like if the defense even gets 15 percent worse, this team is like a four win team. It's a good point. I mean, but really, does the offense get better now? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think you so. You still have downing and <laughs> no, hack and Aaron doesn't plays, want it to succeed. And what Aaron doesn't want won't happen. All right, good. I'm telling you, man. 
Okay. Aaron Rodgers is going to look awesome in a Jags uniform next year. Hey, but speaking of players Jags. that get paid more than they're worth, <laughs> did you know since becoming a Cleveland Brown, Deshaun Watson has 19 passing <laughs> touchdowns and 23 no, yeah. there's more than that. 24. Like 25. 25. Yeah. 25, yeah. 25 yeah. right? He's racking those yeah. up. Yep, sure Can't is. find the end zone, mm-hmm. but and, uh, I can find exactly that. Exactly what money. algorithm you're on. And, as, uh, someone, yeah, yours. as someone who got to watch uh, Kevin Stefanski coach the Vikings for a couple of years, you watch one of Stefanski's press conferences when uh, a reporter goes, is Deshaun your starting quarterback? Yeah. And he goes, we're sticking with Deshaun. There is no light between in, no, in his eyes Nothing at all. At all. Yeah, it's I saw dark, that. Darkness. Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah, that is a man the, who has just given up. Well, like, it's a man who knows it's not his decision, and no matter what the hell he says, isn't going to change anything yeah. because they're like, no, we just gave this guy absurd amounts of the, money. He has to <sighs> NFL, stick him NFL, with the NFL, NFL yeah. players should hate the Haslam's and Andrew Barry, their GM, because that Deshaun contract is setting NFL contracts back a decade. Mm-hmm. Oh Nobody's God. getting fully guaranteed deals anymore. Yeah, like, don't. unless your Kirk Cousins getting like these one Deshaun, or two year deals. Deshaun but, like, had to at least be Kirk, and he couldn't. Oh my God, he is awful. He's yeah, totally awful, smokes. awful, awful. Baker Mayfield though, fifty-one Look points. Look at Baker, yeah. baby. Uh, Seriously, it's good when the NFL has a good villain though. I love turning on the TV and then watching Deshaun get sacked for like oh, a, totally. on third and two. I'm like, <laughs> I was I was smiling like a kid when you were oh, talking wonderful. and watching Rodgers get sacked back. In I know, crazy. Speaking nice. of that, um, after that win, they had Baker Mayfield um, on some ESPN show, and they during the Texas Oklahoma Red River rivalry game, yeah. They put the flag midfield, Texas did, over through a Baker Mayfield, Oklahoma jersey. Jeez. And so after he, he hasn't played on that team in like seven years. So the hell's after that? I sent this to Cal, he loved it too because he made me a huge Baker fan. But after that huge win he had with Tampa Bay, they asked him about, did you see that clip? And he had one of the best responses He's ever. got good ones. And of course, now I can't find it, but I know I sent it to my brother. Hold, He's like, please. I got this dialed Hold, up. Wait, I don't have this dialed up. <laughs> you paid attention to what happened in the, in the Oklahoma game yesterday, but they, they planted your jersey midfield and, and stuck a flag through that. What, yeah. What's up with you catching some strings? Um, that's just uh, a kid from Austin, Texas that went to Oklahoma and won his last two Red River games and being rent free in their heads for almost a decade now. So, um, yeah, it's a good feeling. <laughs> I love yeah. Yeah. That's job, one Baker. of the greatest responses you could have had to that. Yeah, I've been living awesome. rent-free in their head for, like Josh said, a decade. I now, mean, seriously, so. yeah, he hasn't been man. on that team in forever. It's That's like right. Johnny Manziel and still haunting Oklahoma people. Oklahoma has had like another Heisman quarterback since then. They had Caleb Williams right. played for Oklahoma for yeah. two seasons. Like, yeah. yeah. They could have. <laughs> They're mad. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, College it's, it's football funny. fans to me are the most entertaining group of people in the world. Mm-hmm. You're rooting like they live and die over 18 year olds. Like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. it's, it just makes me laugh. Who beat the dollar on the Ducks game? I, who who I beat took LSU early in the season? Who beat LSU when it was a it was a huge upset? Someone Bowling, beat LSU was a Bowling huge upset. Green? They this team reenacted a video that LSU made after winning the national championship. Oh, and a, smoking a, a, the c- cigars. Yeah, stuff. smoking the cigars. The Joe Burrow. J- Jefferson did a little dance nah. in front of the camera, and they mimicked it all. And none of those players were on LSU anymore. No. Yeah. <laughs> they were all professional <laughs> athletes. Yeah. Still dominating. Yeah. And, and they, won, and they won the like first. $200 million yeah, dollars right. now. And they won the first game of the regular season. And, hey, dude, I yeah, felt was... that way when we lost to Tatino by like two instead of 20. Oh, hey, good point. It's it's, I just, I will never, <laughs> I'm also ter- like college football, like I'm in a pick em pool with a few other guys and you, that pick, hot. you pick seven games against the spread. I have, I pride myself on being like a semi-decent sports gambler. I would I, consider you. I would, mm. if I pick an 84 college football games a year, I'm getting like six right. I don't know. Any, oh, totally. No, I know, I know nothing so about hard to like, I feel yeah. this year crazy. more than ever, I've heard of some massive Oh, my upsets. God. Right. Well, in some of these lines, like minus 38 and a half. I'm like, am yeah. I supposed to know if Northern Illinois Collegiate State is going to show up right. and cover they, plus 38 and a half? Yeah. What, what, what was the line? Do they pull their starters? So like, what was the do line some of the guys uh, have to get home early? God, what, was the, what was the Vanderbilt Bama line? Like minus 37 or something. Yeah, it was something crazy. Vanderbilt beat them. I, yeah. I mean that sport when it goes well is really fun, but like ninety nine percent of it, I'm I not will say they're in. correcting the playoffs. They're making that a lot more fun to watch. Twelve sure. teams now. Yeah, and I mean I like that. aside to this college better. football thing, CFB twenty five. Oh yeah, so knocked true. it out of the park. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Awesome game. I can't it. stop playing it. So I still, good. have you got on a Madden yet? Have 
Madden? Yeah. No, I just, I haven't bought a Madden in like three years now. Um, that game it's sucks. It's been even longer for me, but I bought this one. Just because you can import your... Yep. Yeah, and I can't do that. And I actually can't do that. No, it's like, it's seriously, it, it doesn't work for everyone, and I'm one of those people. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. So I can't even do that. What does that However, mean? I love the graphics, are you? And, and the gameplay is sweet. I've been playing more Madden. I what do you just technology? Interesting. Interesting. It doesn't I'm work for everybody. <laughs> I'm like, you're... It's an, it's I'll a, bring it up and show you right now. <laughs> I'll bring it up and show you right now. I wait for that. No, because first of <laughs> all... You've got the digital bundle. extra. Because first of all... On YouTube. First of all... I'd be sending the hottest message to EA Sports. I'd be like, yeah, let's get some petitions going. Josh can move mountains. I'll put it on the website. I'll put it on the website. Alec needs to be able to By the way, while you're here, sign this one too. I'll do a YouTube link for that (laughs) too. George is getting screwed. So first of all, it accepts no names. I Okay, so I tried tried importing my Iowa um, Big Burly running back. Ulysses Corn Fed? Eustace Corn Fed. Eustace. Eustace Corn Fed. Um, f- you can't have no that. inappropriate. Can't have that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it and then switch it back. So I'll make it my grandpa's name, Donald George. Nope, can't have it. Inappropriate. Yeah. Yep, it's offensive <laughs> to Donalds and George. Yep. Okay, great. So at first that excluded. They you might from think tr- you're trying to make a Trump joke. Exactly. So at first that excluded it from being imported. They fixed it. Obama to, Kamala. They fixed it to be like, okay, it can't be that name, but you can change your name once it's imported. And it tells me that message, and I press X, and the message pops back up. And I press X and the message pop back, pops back up. I can't hit what circle. When you press I can't X hit again. start. The message pops back up. <laughs> and it's a vicious circle. And I have to restart the game. Circle. And I have to restart the you game. Can't even I'm, press it. I'm really surprised your TV is not broken right now. <laughs> um, the black controller is. <laughs> it's not. I'm just kidding. I haven't even I don't a, rage. CFB has oh, been so good whip. that I haven't I'm even done controller. road to the sh- like the the where you make a guy. Yeah, oh, that's I've just, all, that's I've all just I done CFB. Dynasty so far. No, See, I, I made a guy. I made a linebacker for Tennessee. Right away. Vio Lentz the third. See, violence. I'm a program builder, so I just I. You're that's like what that. I did right away. Yeah, uh-huh. Like that's the most fun part of CFB is like trying to get this like Scrant five foot I'm here ten to cost ninety nine CTE speed to anyone willing to come to that ball University of South Florida. Mm-hmm. I'm here to ruin careers. Doc, you started in Florida and now you're, you got to Nebraska. Well, yeah, I just made an offense coordinator hit random three times. Luckily, got Florida, so started yeah, out like a good Florida. program. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I'm just and waiting until. Like me, thought the weather was I've, too nice. So I've won a, a national nice Midwest championship Midwest with Corn USF. State. I'm waiting to get offered the Gopher job so I can go 0 for 12, 0 for 12, 0 for 12, bury that program, and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they get. <laughs> Love it. That'd be great. Um, okay, let's. Now I want to uh, get a PlayStation. Um, I feel like I didn't know what I was doing when I titled the last episode NFC North Bloodbath because it's even bloodier now. Hey, speaking of that, yes, I think a Packer Week worked because Packer was a trending hashtag. So when you were saying things like Donald and I said Kamala Obama, I there's a method to the just algorithm saying the top trending hashtags. So I think <laughs> I we will should say this: r- rattle you, a few off. Did you? Just I don't know. Quickly no, about. I, just, I literally wrote down what are the top hashtags right now. We should talk about them. <laughs> just say Jordan Love Packers Vikings border battle. You just say yeah. like a bunch of stuff. Like Detroit, NFC North. Aiden Hutchinson. Did you know that the NFL. NFC North teams have the top four point differentials in the entire NFL? Did you know the Mercedes AMG 650 has an automatic transmission, but paddle shifters and traction control that can handle snow, gr- loose gravel, dirt, wow. ice, much like the Lamborghini Aventador. 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 It's very big right now. <laughs> these are these are the hashtags. Well, these, are the top, these, right are, these are the top hashtags. I think I also <laughs> read Kamala, speaking. Harris, uh, Trump. The, the Packers, Lions, Fox and Bears, CBS. Uh, none of them, they all obviously have winning records, but none of them their collective record of the teams they've played, none of them are over 500. Like the Bears, the, the yeah. teams they've played have four yeah. combined wins. The Packers, the teams they've played, have like eight combined wins. And the Vikes are five of those. Like yeah. those teams have played garbage teams. And the Vikes have played good teams and beat all of them handily. It's crazy how much better the Vikes are. Than, than the Jordan Love Packers. It's crazy. What's crazy? Isn't it great? That, or the fact that the Seahawks have never lost an NFC championship game. Whoa. But they hmm. did lose an AFC one. That's something. Hmm. Oh, before. Okay. Um, I have I have stats around. Uh, what? The, I got to get the, these off. Man. I got to go home. Current state of the <laughs> NFC North. Um, first division since realignment. No two with all four teams, each having at least four wins through six weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, there's more. But that's all I had for that. The Lions. 40 plus points in back to back games. You have a lion sound effect? Nope. Doc, you, you can do it. Meow. Nice. Um, Jared Goff in those two games. Wait, George, what was your reaction to seeing Aiden Hutchinson's injury? 
Dalton, <laughs> Dalton Kincaid touchdown. I, Do you want to watch I, it live I, again? No. I won't watch Dawson the play. Dawson Knox touchdown. <sighs> Too bad, dude. Yeah, yeah Josh Allen. Nightmare fuel. You tell him. You're from, I'm from Wyoming. We're cowboys. Woo! Here you go. Let me get my lasso. Woo! Jared Goff in these last two games where the Lions have scored 40-plus points. 155.8 passer rating. Remember when they versus wanted Seattle. Josh Rosen? 153 passer rating <laughs> versus Dallas. Total of 36 of 43, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. Who gets That's fired first, crazy. McCarthy or Zimmer? Oh, mm, It's a collective. I feel like they go at the same time. Yep. Mm. I feel like Zimmer would be like, well, if he's gone, I'm going to. Maybe. I'm not doing this. Maybe. Um, so Goff no, is killing it. No, you don't it. think? Um, Hutchinson leg injury, I think makes, Gross. um, well, yeah, first of all, I won't watch the play doc. You snuck in a picture and ouch. Um, I can't watch stuff like that. That's Le- absolutely leg crazy. injury or no leg injury. Brian O'Neill was going to shut him down this Sunday. So he, we, it doesn't matter regardless. We hope for a speedy recovery. I cannot wait to watch that young man. He is really football. good. So yep. yeah, that's he's nice. a ton of fun to watch. Yeah. But, um, yeah, speedy recovery. Seriously, that uh, that hurts. Honestly, Super Bowl odds for the Lions a lot. And at, at the beginning of the season, they were my NFC pick for the Super Bowl. Um, this this hurts them. Or is this Booby Miles Vikes on, my, on crutches? Vikes minus More than one and a half. Out. Is this Booby Miles right now? And Permian Panthers are going to play for him. And maybe he um, is the spirit of that team, man. He is Detroit. Oh I, no, I th- I think the spirit of that team is David Montgomery, who signed a two year extension. 18.25 mil. He's everything that the Lions want. Dan Campbell raves about him because he breaks like eight tackles every play. Eight straight games with a touchdown. And he, yes, it's a it's a running back by committee, and they, they do it perfectly. They do it to a level every team should hope to do a committee running back and also run your offense. Establish that run. Be amazing at it because their offensive line is crazy. Yep. And then they got dominant. And then look at the weapons they got out wide for when they do throw it. And it's it's such a good recipe. And I, I think losing Hutchinson is uh is pro- might be might end up being bigger than we know right now. Um because I, I don't know who else they have on their defense, if I'm being honest. Brian Branch and Dominic too. Um they got Anzalone. Yeah. Keep going. I know, that, I know that guy with the hair. They're still they're still good. Oh, they'll still be great. Yeah. Um, and I think Dwight that Smith. will be the biggest test for the bikes um that they've faced this year. Yeah, we already we already took care of one of the bad teams in our division. That was easy. Super easy. Got one, one easy, more coming up. Easiest game. Um, blow out the whole You're time. You're not going to trigger me. Blow, <laughs> blow, blow out the whole time. It was not a two-point game at the end. <laughs> it's not <laughs> um, And Stay strong, brother. Um, myself, uh, and I, I did want to fit this in here. Soda, you touched on you touched on mental health, and, and I got a bit on that, too. So um, regarding fantasy, David Montgomery – uh, Montgomery reveals abuse during his rookie season from fantasy football managers had him Why to the point of suicide. Why would he go to their houses? Not cool, man. Right to uh, I so, had ne- so quote. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish the quote. I was at a point where I was scared to live after all of his threats. David says a call from his nephew who has leukemia helped save him. Whoa, they threw that in there randomly at the end. Um, either way, if you're a fantasy football manager feeling inclined to send people death threats or even hate messages on oh, social on. Those media. Those were Bears fans. That was the Bears. That was Bears Nation. Oh, those would have been Duh, Bears fans Bears. at the time. Okay, so I'm not surprised, but still, if, yeah. if you're doing this, then there's you, then that's something wrong with it, you. It's it, stupid. I have never won. I have had so many terrible fantasy players on all of the teams that I've played. How I have do you never get, How won. do you get to the point to I have pick never up your phone had, and be like, yeah, I'm going like, to direct message? Here's the thing. I'm going to DM a guy and tell him yeah. to kill himself. Right? I have like, never... That has never popped into my head. It's crazy to me. Like... You put up zero points for me. Go hang yourself. Uh, yes, I have ne- right. that's and that's just the never. They get. I just do not. Oh man, humans are the worst, yes. dude. Terrible. Yeah. Truly mm-hmm. terrible. Technology. I just have open. never mm-hmm. thought that for like. Oh man. Yeah. And you know what's funny is nobody would ever say that stuff to these guys in person. Obviously, no. God no. Although <laughs> so I true. have been to a lot of like Wolves games or Vikes games and heard some of these fans <laughs> yelling in the stands, and I'm like, some of these people would say that shit. To them, yeah, like, they might. It's with enough, crazy with enough beers fans, you can six they Miller might. lights in somebody. Well, yeah. Have you like, heard the story of my tanks? dad and Carmelo Anthony? Yeah, that I did. I yeah, mean, that was <laughs> that wasn't bad. I mean, they were like that was know. hilarious. Even the yeah. guy that was working security, was your like, dad, hey, your can't dad, talk to him. But but your dad wasn't saying he's going to kill him or anything. Saying or you should bad. die. He, he, was just, he was naming stats. Yeah, Carmelo called himself. He said, "I need a timeout. I need a breather." And my dad said, "Was like three for 16. Yeah. yeah, take a rest. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> See that stuff? Way that, to go. And that's then he, perfect. He stood back up. Was like, "You think you can do any better? You try. You try." 
My dad's like, hey, I'm just a fan. That is the I'm perfect fan, fan yep. stuff. Like, that is totally cool. Then, <laughs> it's, that's well, the, the, the guy that was working talk. security back then is the guy that stopped the uh, one the, of the protesters. The I think so. Blue gal? My, Cal knows his name. Yeah. He's a great dude, but he's still working there. He's but that awesome. stuff's totally fine. That's like what these athletes sign up Pierre. for is to hear stuff like Pierre. that. Like, Pierre. they do not sign up to get like a fan and has 12 Miller Lights and is like, go kill yourself. Like, no, geez, come yeah. on. You now. shouldn't talk to anybody no. like that. But yeah, that's, I believe politics I, leads I, people to stupid If I'm an athlete, I'm not like online that. at all. No. Like, I can't imagine any of these guys. Clear like, your head of that. Like, no, thank you. Well, it's like my dad's also the same type. I remember he got Heath Farwell's jersey. And we were sitting on the sideline. He got his attention. He made Heath stay. Heath was grabbing other Vikings like, this guy got my jersey. Look at this guy. <laughs> Hail Mary touchdown. Did For they who? Just have, they, they just showed all of Rogers' Hail Mary touchdowns with the Packers, and he may have just done it again. Is that guy wearing a Guardian Wait, cap? Wait, they're talking about it. The ball, please the, don't. The ball went loose. This is crazy. Not Tyler Conklin, please. Oh, Lazard. Alan Lazard. Thank you. That's a touchdown, dude. And then... A guardian helmet didn't help at all. And then the ball gets a touchdown. He did it again. Holy shit. God almighty, (laughs) that guy. Oh, my God. (laughs) Lazard was in that room with him. Okay. Maybe he's worth 40 mil. They were working on routes in the dark. (laughs) How did the Bills... There's four guys down there. How do you let that happen? Five guys down there. How do you let that happen? They do retreats in the training facility with all the lights off. They drink ayahuasca and they throw balls to each other. They can find each other. (laughs) balls in the darkness <laughs> find each other in the darkness man um that's scary okay um let's uh continue on this <laughs> nfc north bloodbath the bears have scored five offensive touchdowns in their last two games well do you uh, do you know who they've played yes that's still <laughs> impressive no fair enough though <laughs> fair enough does that in one game Fair enough. Um, I think I, I think Caleb Williams is going to be really good. It's the first time they did it in back-to-back games since 1956. He, I'm not buying it yet. I I mean they have not played anybody good. He's starting a, to look comfortable. They have as a, a terrible thing. offensive coordinator, but he's starting to look comfortable. Pending this game, he has the highest CPOE of the entire week of any quarterback in the NFL. What the frick is a CPOE? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Completion percentage over expected. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew that. <laughs> Talking to the guy who played James Cook tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. trending towards playing. Recent news. I mean, like, I, the, I think the, the bad thing, though, is your dad's still going to lose that fantasy matchup. He is. I know. Well, so that's he, tough. Well, no, no, no. This was for last week. Oh, no. That's no, oh, it's oh sorry. Week. Why was I thinking it was Thursday? No. Um, oh, look at that. Is no, Sody. Um, it's a toasty Dougie. Heck yeah. Sody cheesy, may um, cheesy croissant. Th- that's funny. I because I also had a guy who put up a donut, Marvin Harrison Jr. And I think me and Sody um, are points leaders this week. Nice. Mm. Mm. Um, look at me go again. By the way, I'm doing great again. Love when you oh, guys man. talk about your fantasy teams best. on this podcast. It's the best. Look I hate it. Go. I'm actually doing good this week. All right. Um. So yeah, NFC North is uh, it's crazy. It's good. It's and super fun. good. Yeah, and fun. And, Doc, I'm wondering if your NFC North predictions have changed at all. What six, were they? Can I hear no. I didn't know. I don't know what they were. <laughs> he went He went Lions, Packers. Vikings. You oh, you went Vikings, Bears? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Keeping it? Yeah. Lions, yeah. Packers, Vikings, Bears. Oh, Mark. It yeah. is classic. <laughs> I know, like, this Vikings team is excellent, and they probably will go and, and make the playoffs. Undefeated. And undefeated, probably, like... Yeah, Doc said they won't lose a game. Will crush the Belichick era. He said they'll, he they'll, said go, they'll win every single regular season game, make it out of the first round because it's a bye, lose in the second round. Anyway... Uh, if you really want to get us, you'll, like, you, 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 you would have had us going to the, you would have had us going to the championship game. It is classic Vikes, <laughs> would, though, that they is, are 5-0 and oh, and somehow barely leading their own division. The last, yeah. That the is last, just a... That yeah. is, that is Vikings to a perfect The last like, 5 0 team to not make like, the playoffs. Vikings. The Vikings. Sam oh Bradford Vikings. God. Your light just and, flickered when you said that. And I think the team before that. My eyes just went dead. I think the team before <laughs> yeah. that is the 05 Vikings. I'm dead serious. Yeah. With Mike Tice. We are two of the three teams that have like went 4 0 or 5 0 and not. Well, the NFL is not. That would be tragic. Who did we lose our first Super Bowl to? They're making the playoffs. They're too good. We lost multiple Super Bowls. After after this Vikes week, we get to play like the Jags, Titans, Cardinals. No, we like. I I made the joke. Trap games. I made the joke on Thielen. I made the joke of the undefeated season, and I still do because obviously you have to play Detroit twice. Please keep saying that joke. I know you guys don't think uh, the Packers are good, but you have to play them one more time. I didn't say that, (laughs) but. And we always lose to the Bears in Soldier Field. It doesn't always. always. But like, but like your season now is. 
It's cake. People talked about Compared the first five the first... weeks of our season. They're like, I hope the Vikes can go two and three at best. You got Texans, Packers, yeah, Niners. I think I said like, one and five. You had us at one and five, and I yeah. agreed. And I agreed. Yeah. I said all off Legit season. chance for six This team is either going to go full go or flat on the face. There is no eight and seven or eight and nine, nine and, and eight. And I, I would like to put this on the record now. It was going to be one if win or win one the loss. Super Bowl, I'm still moving on from Sam Darnold as JJ's team next yeah. year. 100%. Oh, my God. I think so, yeah. too. I get I'm the- not paying Sam Darnold $50 million. Yeah, no, I, That's the yeah. thing. That's the breaker. Yeah. That, like he, if he wins the Super Bowl, you think he's Super Bowl, I'm like still moving on to JJ. Yeah. It's like, like you hire your gonna, best friend to get this old muscle car running. He's going to want a $200 million deal, and I'm just not doing it. Not ready for that, right? No. And he should get that money. I think you should pat him on the back say thank you for the vi- first vike super bowl in league team history nope team hall of fame and then it's time now carry can sign, resume he can on sign with the you want, like you could do anything he wants but i'm not giving him 50 million dollars nope sam darnold for 10 million perfect sam darnold for 50 million no oh, thank you <laughs> no friggin thanks no okay i'm with you um before we wrap up uh josh i very much want to get your take on, on the wolves trade on the cat trade yes uh-huh that's why um, I came here. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm um, heartbroken. First um, bit of Lynx news, they fell yesterday in game two to New York. Series tied 1-1. Coming back home for the next two games. They're winning that series. I think so, too. I think we got another championship team here with yep. the Lynx, which is awesome. Fifth one um, in, was that and, fifth in 10 years? No, yeah. Maybe, not quite. I don't know. It is fifth. Trying to go, it is their fifth, but I'm trying to go we'll back to their We'll be the only franchise one. with five, too. Cre- they're cre- I mean, it, it's... Cheryl Reeve. Yeah. Cheryl Reeve could be in the NBA. I have months. my issue with Cheryl Reeve, but... Really? She's a genius. Dude, she's a great coach. Great coach, though. I just don't like how she's handled the Caitlin Clark on Angel Reese stuff. Yeah. Like, I just think that she has, she's not seeing the forest through the trees. Like, she, she can't smell like, her own. I know that they're putting Caitlin Clark on a pre- pedestal, but she clearly is worth she deserves all the pedestals this pedestal. that they put her on. This like, is what, like, she deserves this, and it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just eyeballs Make on the league. Make it a higher league. pedestal. Like, yeah, the more eyeballs on your league, the more money on your league, the more people the that will want to play in the Seriously, WNBA. Like it, this is a no lose situation, right. and LeBron. she is making it a lose situation. It's yes. driving me a little crazy. Yep. But you can't oh, knock her all, for all of that discourse. Like, I'd say that the you whole league, the season, the trying, whole to, trying to say like, hey, this has been happening. The same no, it hasn't. I know. It's we've it, all we've always had women in the league worthy of this amount of praise. Not necessarily. Apparently not. But but and even if you did. The problem is, is the viewership wasn't there. No, and now it's I mean, there. You, you have know, to capitalize like, on it. Correct. Fee, Fee is like the, I mean, one of the Love great Fee. WNBA yes. players yes. ever already. Yes, like, and she, she Nafisa has not Collier. gotten the Nafisa eyeballs. Collier for you guys. Like, but they have to realize the WNBA isn't what made us like the WNBA. It was women's college basketball. Oh, that's what made us. I mean, and they were lucky enough. To have this product transfer into that league. Oh, where the Caitlin popularity came from, came then, from yes. college I mean, NBA, sports. NBA, WNBA. But it was I don't, Caitlin. I don't, yes. with, with basketball, with these smaller teams, like what makes me love the NBA is players because they're on, like, there's not that many guys on each team. So, mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah, the teams are important, but we've seen with the younger fans of the NBA, they follow players. They yeah. don't follow mm-hmm. teams all the time. Like yep. they follow LeBron, they follow KD, they follow Steph. I like, super disagree with that though, but I I do love the player aspect and I, and I and love players, how the NBA can players be like can make or break the league. And Caitlin Clark is going to make that league. Yeah. Like, it's it's, just, it's yep. just true. It's just, and, and so it's driven me like this is a, this is just a complete side tangent from this whole thing, but mm. it's Cheryl, off, Cheryl is a genius at what she has done for this franchise, but it has driven me up the wall how she's treated the Caitlin Clark Angel Reese stuff. You know, like, grand they are great reason. for the league. And end of story. You yeah. don't have to say anything else. Yeah. They're great for the league. Yeah. Yeah. That can be point. it. It's a good like, point. Mm-hmm. Yep. It just doesn't... Yeah. Anyway. No, I, I'm, I'm totally with you. Just happy totally they're bringing you. more fans. Um, yeah, well, me too. I, I think mean, the WNBA well, is great. I yep. was at the Lynx clinching their third championship. Apparently at, it's just called the W now. The W now. The W. I was I like at, that. Um, yep. when they were at Mariucci, when the Target Center was getting renovated, Tess and I were at, I think that was their third championship, and it was awesome. Like, that is awesome. I've never, n- none of the the male yeah. sports teams <laughs> in this state have done anything for me in my entire life. Right. So They've done it was bad cool to, for us. It's yeah. cool to They've see been a mean. championship. Yeah. No, so it's, anyway. it's super true. Um, and Let's and honestly, cat. well, well case, case in point, <laughs> um, ratings and viewership, plummeted as soon as Caitlin was eliminated. Yep. Plummeted. Uh, okay. Except this this uh the 
the finals. The finals. They yeah. are breaking records yeah. again. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nice. The Liberty mm-hmm. said that they ended up selling like twelve hundred standing room only tickets. They've never done that. Amazing. Like, I heard. Yeah, the so playoff cool. game that was here was a playoff bat- basketball atmosphere. It was at awesome. Center. Yeah, it was I watched. Wild, wild, ruckus. I got home late one night and turned on the game one of Liberty Lynx, mm-hmm. and it was halfway through the third quarter, and the Lynx were still down seventeen. I'm like, oh, yeah. That's Wait, how late is uh-huh. that? Uh, I got home at like I don't know seven forty five. God, that like is that. late. I was in bed. Before Sunday mm-hmm. Night Football yesterday. It was great. It's a good it's feeling. Great. Oh, I woke up so at 2 o'clock, goes. had to go take a leak. <laughs> and fully rested, too. Ready to start my day. I'm like, oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, I turned on Tower 4. I'm obsessed with that podcast again. That's great. It's a fiction podcast. It's it's this guy working in a fire tower. We'll check it out. Yeah. What? We'll Got check it. it out. Weird things happen. <laughs> okay, good. Um, yes, um, I'll start with this. Anthony Edwards and Julius Randle have been hitting it off and becoming close. This is per Shams at ESPN now, which is mm. uh, new for Shams. Weird. Anthony loves the competitive spirit and nature of Julius and Dante. Cat read that and whipped his phone. So the new the guys are the new no! guys. <laughs> the new guys are fitting right in. Josh, what do you think of the trade? You can already tell that like Dante is like a perfect fit. Oh with my this god, team. I like, know. And the contract, so good, is like contract, seriously. Good. I saw this is a hilarious. This is like the classic fan interaction. I saw the Shams tweet and did the thing where I read the tweet and I'm like, oh, it's the structure of a deal. They could cancel the structure. Yeah, this does it. It's just yeah, the structure. Of, you cancel yeah. that. Yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. It's not done. We don't, we don't need just to do cancel this. that, baby. Oh, just I was, the structure. Structures can fall apart. It's I fine. gasped. Oh, like, I, yep, I gasped and I was not about it right away. I was lighting up the group thread. I'm like, this is terrible. I hate it. And I'm just, I have been a huge cat supporter, no matter, the whole time he's been same, here. Same. Like, no, every time somebody shit on him, I'm like, I don't think you understand how few players like cat have ever existed in the NBA. Like, yes. once Much he's gone, we're going to, like, yeah, we're going to miss him. Like, yes. yep. it's, you know, it's that classic fandom thing where it's it's hard to kind of see beyond some so stuff. We, so but. we started off with the same sentiment. I, and then, I, I was upset. Then I started to read nba writers that i really really respect and they were like this is why this makes sense this is why this is good for the team long term and it still doesn't make it like i see these cat posts where like he goes to the you know john krasinski's kids soccer game the next day and i I read that story and i'm like shedding a little i'm like this is like seriously he's just such a good person like in 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 one of the first Fucking embrace Minnesota. He did. Had nothing but really amazing things to, to say yeah. about the state, and we don't get that from our star With, athletes. Without Cat, George, keep going, man. Without Cat, no. Ant doesn't embrace embrace Minnesota. Correct. And I think that's a huge piece to this. Yes. Without Cat being like, this is a great place to live. This is a great franchise. Ant doesn't buy all the way in, and yeah. uh, you know, without that, where you know, where are you? Yes. So, I am now fully on board with the new team. I still, I it drives it. I have not loved the amount of praise that Chris Finch has like given to Julius Randle, it seems like he's maybe trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. He's like, this is going to be fine. This is going to be great. Julius is so good. He could very well be a piece. Like, I mean, he could be really good. I just, it could work out. I'm 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 saying like a trade piece. Yeah. I I just, I'm not sure how he fits into this roster. I think there is a real concern for me that he kind of clogs up the works a little bit, but I mean, I hope that in a guy who's in a, a contract year and realistically is what Julius is 30. A little bit younger. A little bit younger. 29? Yeah, I think Somewhere so. around there. Uh-huh. 28, he, 29? He has like another four-year deal ahead of him. So I yes. hope that he does, instead of you know trying to kind of make the offense sticky, 29. I'm hoping that in a contract year, he is becomes a facilitator, keeps the offense moving, and that means that he will end up with a much better contract this offseason because he fit into this roster better. Yeah. But I still am not... I'm 100% sold on Dante. He yep. looks incredible. He's like everything that Finch has wanted for this team for four years yes. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And contract matters, and that's and that's one of the best contracts in the league. This team, long-term, contracts matter. is better, and Wolves. I think will like maintain their depth in the playoffs... I mean, they're yes. like the best. I think their their first eight guys are better than anybody else's first eight guys in the league. Like, yeah, prob- probably, other than the, maybe probably Boston. The best, probably the best maybe. bench. Yeah, I Boston. Yeah. I said Boston, it sure. what, a couple episodes ago that I think the trade ultimately was for Dante. It was. And not, uh, yeah. And Julius, like, you, I, I you hope he where, fits, but right. if he doesn't, you, you can move. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think struggle with conver- maintaining depth long term. I think, um, I think. Not after conver- one of these seltzers, though. Here we go. I think this court. <laughs> I think discourse around the trade ends um, with this point here. Cat, Cat is, um, Cat is amazing. He's an amazing person. He's an amazing basketball player. As amazing as he is at basketball, he is not worth sixty million dollars, and you cannot win a championship 
paying a player like Cat sixty mil. No, I think I think last year would have been that chance. Well, yeah. Before before he started making sixty mil. My yeah. my hopium is you know once that sixty million runs out, he'll oh, be thirty. Hopium? He'll be huge fan of that phrase. He'll be thirty two or th- Cat will be thirty two or thirty three. He could come back to Minnesota on a deal. smaller totally. deal. Yes, it'd be amazing. will be twenty six. Oh my god! So it'll be all, it'll, yes. We'll, we yeah. can get the band back together. The Cat could come off the bench. I want to so end on that. I want to end on that management. sentiment. That's, that's my hopium um, right there. That's uh, that would be great. And let's uh, hopium manifest. Mm. Hopium, copium. You never heard that? No. Hopium. Well, hopium and copium. Two a lot of Vietnam vets, unfortunately. Two drugs Minnesotans are very familiar with. Whoa. Um, because of our sports teams, Sody. Oh, makes sense why I've never heard of it. Totally do. <laughs> 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 Very good. Okay. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. If you made it this far, um, Josh, thank you again. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for the Minnesota Weed Insight. Thank Anytime. you for um, thank you for taking this year off in our fantasy league. Josh, <laughs> thank you. How, how, are, how are you with saying Irish wristwatch? Can you do that? Irish wristwatch? Yeah. A little bit faster. Five times Irish six. wristwatch? Yeah, you're doing it. Apparently, I was the only one that struggled. Irish wrist. How uh, how high are you on DK? You looking to trade him? Never. He's I have a, him in every league. Uh, oh, he's your guy. He's, he's my your guy. Boy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Last week we could talk about off air about DK. Do you have a Burger Quest recommendation? Where do we need to go to get one of the best burgers in the state? Oh my God, we've been on doing this for two hours. We're gonna need another two hours. <laughs> You're right. Low key, the best burger. Not low key. Everybody knows Revival, the fried chicken place. Yep. Yes. They have. Probably the best cheeseburger in the city as well. It's, Get out. it's crazy how good it is. It's like open flame fried. Because they're three it's, doors down from Red Cow. Oh, it's so good. It's Big, big Brother I, took I, us there. I had to swallow just thinking. Yeah. I'm already thinking about it. Mm, revival. Talk about Southern comfort food to a max. Like, Doc, add it to the list. Add it to the t-shirt. Let's revival. Go. I don't uh, see. I don't. I don't know if I could go there and get a burger. Stepchild in Northeast has an excellent burger. Sonder Shager has an excellent smashed Wagyu burger. Write so, these down. Like, but if you have not, if you you've have gone, the if you've gone to Revival for the chicken, you gotta go for the burger. Oh man, it's good. All right, That's thank you, t-shirt. Josh. Um, check us out on YouTube, Patreon.com/slash Second Office. Check out our shop, buy cool T-shirts. Um, bye. Bye. Bye.